yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, go comment. So this is my uh, Odell's Went to the Baltimore Nightclubs Reload. So I'll be doing a re-upload from my last video. And I've realized that in his YouTube world, you gotta make sure you got your own, you know, creative content. You know, I make sure you have your own what goes to your video because you can get reported. So, um, I just want to give a shout out to the Baltimore History Channel for giving me that notify, that giving me that notifying me that. Um, unfortunately, the first video got taken down, so hopefully I get that video back up. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and push for this one right here. But uh, I gotta finish what I started, so let's go on this video right here. So this is the legendary Old Owls Nightclub. Um, this is definitely one of the best disco f um, vibe clubs in the late 1970s. Um, I believe this place is located on 21st East North Avenue, so that's not too far. From where the um the Baltimore City Public Schools are, so it definitely was in a lot of nightclubs in that area. So um let's go on get with this video. So uh Odell's first opened up in 1976. It was known as a disco vibe club. It was owned by Mr. Odell Brock himself. He had a lot of um customers come by support him. And people was just there all the time, man. People was there from Friday nights to Saturday nights to Sunday nights. People would party all the way to the weekend. I'm pretty sure people couldn't wait to go to a club back in the day, especially if you're having a hard day at work from the, for, throughout the weekdays. So now you're finna get your party on and get some of that disco vibe at Odell's. Man, I just feel like I feel as I missed on I missed out on a good time, you know. Um, it definitely had a lot of a few performer acts here. Um, a lot of memories of Bill. So in my last video, I noticed there was a lot of comments and people was giving me a lot of information or um, what actually happened in Odell. So definitely, definitely, I uh, want to give a shout out to those people who definitely made a comment on my videos and give me all the ins and, I, ins and outs about Odell's because this is not my generation. I have not been to this place. I was not born in the eighties. I was born in the mid nineties. So Hammer Jacks is more my place. So that's the if you want to get. I mean. I kind of got more experience with Hammond Jazz. I used to go to the Kitty Disco, but Odell's, I missed out of a disco fun nightclub. But anyway, let's go forward the video. So, um, Mr. Bry had the club for some quite a time. He had a good nine year stretch. He had it from 1985 all the way to like a 10 year mark, all the way to his demise in 1986. So, I want to also give a shit. I also want to say rest in peace to Mr. Odell Brock himself. I mean, he has definitely started off something legendary and uh, something that that's never been, have, never has been forgotten. So yeah, um, as you know, Mr. Mr. Odell passed away, it went through the hands of Mr. Murray, and um, once again, once these uh, clubs started to go in different hands of the owners, you know, I think Odell's was kind of from my own research and from people experience telling me that the club kind of lost a lot of its clientele. You know, it wasn't the same no more. They was trying to vibe off into a new thing, and I guess. You want to change, but you can't change so much to the point that runs your original people away. So the disco crowd was kind of dying down. I knew breed of Arab young people was coming in. And uh, like I mentioned before, this is 18 to 40. So that's a huge age range for a club just to be partying. So people was there to have a good time. Um, and I noticed one thing about the clubs, there wasn't no cussing, no arguing, like especially back then. You, you, you was there to have a good time, not to be twerking nowadays. These females twerk on their phone. They don't want to dance with the guys no more. It's just all over the place, but uh, yeah. Um, so it went to the hands, Mr. Murray. Unfortunately, he couldn't keep, he couldn't keep up with the protocol, so he had the club for some quite a time, all the way until like 1987, until it got shut down again. Just just to do the fact that they had um, Mr. Murray's been investigated. I think through like money. I think um, like not keeping up with the club protocol. So I'm gonna just say I'm just say it like this. I just say he wasn't following rules, and you know, when you don't follow rules, you suffer the consequence of not following the rules. And uh, also, went through the hands of Mr. Mr. Charles Tillman, so he was like the last owner of Odell's. So he went from having a club from 1987 to 1992. He went through a last five year run, and the club was just dying out. It just wasn't the same people no more. People were just getting tired of these young people just coming in and starting some trouble. So we definitely had a new breed of Arab uh, children being raised to being grown now. But um, it's crazy. So once again, Mr. Tillman tried to uh, make things go himself, and unfortunately, he lost the club. So it's crazy to where things can go. At you can have one thing, we can have something one day, and one the next day can be taken away from you. So it's just crazy to see this club can just go away just like that. And hearing these people tell these stories about how much fun they had during the uh, weekends. 
But uh, Mr. Chip, Mr. Tillman lost his, his position as an owner. Unfortunately, he couldn't get it back because, like I said, you don't follow these rules, you suffer the consequence. So I'm, I'm guessing that it was through, um, it was like through tax pass. So anything he's missed, he's arrested for it. So I don't know the, the full detail of how he got, Mr. Tillman got arrested, but just know that he was not following any safety protocols or any rules to keep his business going. But uh, unfortunately, um, Odell was trying to open back up in 1993. Uh, it didn't work out um, due to some uh, due to some violations. So it tried to turn into like a, a restaurant and a, a dance hall, a banquet. But unfortunately, it did not get followed through. The permit did not work. So um, Odell's officially has come to an end in 1993. So it has not opened up by then. And um, this is the current look of it right here. So it went from a nightclub to now it's going to be a youth art center. But it's crazy what time can do and how much time it can um, make a difference. So, I mean, hey, it changed for the better good. And I, I, I do wish it was a club right here, but, hey, who am I to say? But um, if you need to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. This is my re-upload on what happened to the Baltimore nightclub, Odell's. I had to get out this re-upload. Um, my last video got taken down due to copyright ref refreshment, so I'm not even going to use nobody else's videos in my uh, video at all. So we gonna keep these running. We gonna keep these numbers running. Keep uh, building this channel brick by brick. But uh, I'm out with it, folks. You folks enjoy your Sunday. Have a blessed one. I'm out.